Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a cover up over this dirty pour, um, resin dirty pour that I did a couple of days ago. Um, I used mica powder and the reds and the blues didn't come out as dark as I wanted it to. So, but this goes to show you that every single time that you do a dirty pour, your um, texture and the patterns will definitely come out the same. No two projects will ever come out the same. So I have my um, hair flip-flops that um, I'm going to use that I cut out with my laser cutter. And then I'm just going to place the um, straps here. And I also have the welcome sign that I'm going to put at the bottom. But that's after it dries. So once we put on our resin and mix our paint in, we need to let this set for at least 24 hours. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my resin and i have what is this amazing clear cast uh, resin and they have, there's a part a and there's also a part b so you want to mix equal parts of this resin and that's what i'm going to do and also you need um, some cups to go underneath your um your board that way the resin can drip off of it but i can explain that when we get to that point so right now i'm going to mix my resin for at least three minutes um, part a and part b and then i'll be back after that all right so now that i have my resin mixed up i, I did two um sets because i think that's i just guesstimated how much is going to pour fill up the whole thing so i'm going to do three colors i'm going to do black I'm going to do teal and I'm going to do just a little bit of gold. So I don't want the gold to take over. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour just a little bit of my resin in one of uh, empty container for my gold. That should be good. That might be too much, but. Uh, Okay, and so now I'm going to take a um, clean popsicle stick. So you may need, just grab a handful of popsicle sticks. <laughs> um, so I use one to um, stir my epoxy resin, and I'm using a new one to add my paint in to color. And I should have not used this to stir. But like I said, grab a handful of popsicle sticks. So if you need to grab one, another one, it's available. And you can look at how the how translucent it is by just putting it on a stick and you can see what it looks like. So it looks like I need some more black. I'm gonna grab a clean popsicle stick and add some more black in. I think I'm gonna put some more. Just because I because I wanted lots of color in it. Alright, hopefully that's good enough. Alright, clean as you go. I have a spot on the side that I'm putting that. And I'm just gonna mix my black in. Mix it thoroughly. And I think it's to the consistency and color that I like, or that I want. All right, so that's that. So now I need another popsicle stick to, well, actually no, because this one has a hole in it, so I can just pour it in. And remember, you can always add in more, but you can't take out. So you want to add in just enough. And then if it doesn't look right, go ahead and add in some more color. And I want more color to it, so I'm gonna add some more in there. I don't measure, except for the resin and the epoxy. That's the only thing that I measure. Okay, so I think it's mixed enough thoroughly so the colors can um, be mixed well. And 
Going to take my popsicle sticks out, lay them to the side. And I'm going to grab another one and get my gold. And this is just acrylic paint. Come on, gold. The gold is thicker. Well, this gold is thicker. And that's all the gold that I want for that. that to the side get this to the side and I'm going to mix just stir stir okay and inside my black I'm going to add and I should have had some napkins close by I'm going to get me some napkins one second napkins and alcohol So where was I? Okay, so on my black, I want to add like more texture to the um, to the picture. I don't know how to say it. So I've been watching some YouTube videos, some other videos um, that has inspired me. And so this is silicone. Don't remember where I got it from. I think it was Walmart, but it's been years since I've had this. So um, a while since I've had it. So, but um, you just want to put like. A couple of drops inside your paint your epoxy so I'm gonna do like maybe four drops and it came out so fast I don't know how much came out that's okay and that's fine with me all right so I'm gonna take my black stick and I'm gonna stir that in And I think I may only need it for one color. So hopefully this in the black is fine by itself. But we'll see. Either way I go, I believe it'll look nice. All right, so I am going to, what am I gonna do next? Uh, and I also have my heat gun so I can blow up the bubbles. All right, so I'm going to pour I should have had another cup. You pretty much want to pour back and forth to get the colors right. But since I didn't bring another cup, I'm going to just pour it in on top. And I'm just going in a circular motion. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is going, it's about to get messy. So you want to make sure everything, anything that you do not want epoxy on, you want to move it out the way right now. All right, I have some clean sticks over here that I can use later. Move that to the side. And what I do is I put paint, I mean not paint, tape in the middle so it can help um, with the drips right here in the middle, as less drips as possible. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pour my paint on top. That should be good. And here comes the fun part. You just roll it to cover the entire area. And this I am going to put on my front door. It's gonna be a door hanger. So, Trying to make sure I get all sides. All right. Let's get this side. And it's epoxy is self leveling, so um, it's going to level out. 
evenly. And I have my hand in it. Zarn it. But hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Sorry if it wasn't in the camera. Okay, so now we have our flip-flops. That's what it's gonna look like. And I have some cups here that I'm going to set it on and oh, how nice, it's dripping on my arm. <laughs> All right, so I have some cups that I'm just gonna place right here underneath it. Ah! I said before you want the cups underneath so it can drip over the edge well I made a mess that's okay just clean it up and I'm going to Trying to make, <laughs> trying to figure out what to do at this point. I don't want it to get stuck on my arm. Okay, that's that's it. That is that. Enough of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this gold. Actually, nope. Let me change gloves. Take out these gloves, and I'm going to take the bubbles out. Pop the, all the bubbles. The silicone was supposed to add like little cells, decorations, or texture in it, but I see very little. But that's okay with me because I like how the design looks. All right, so let me put on my other set of gloves. Actually, alcohol my arm. Actually, I'll be right back after I clean up my arm. <laughs> all right, sorry about all that mix up. Um, I had to clean up myself. So I have my gold which it has been sitting so it's kind of um it's starting to thicken up and what i'm going to do is just try to follow i'm going to dip it in here and just try to make veins like just follow the lines that's on the flip-flops um that's created already And I think I'm going to do one more. That one didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, not too much, just a little, just enough to add some dimension to it brighten it up uh, i know you can't really see it but i'll bring it in closer in a few minutes um, i think that's it because too much can be too much okay so i'm going to do this heat gun again and see what i get
Sometimes the heat gun can maneuver the um, paint in the direction that you want it to go. So that's kind of what I'm doing. leave it just like that. that's good all right so now you it's dripping so what I do is I take a, a popsicle stick and I just kind of throw out until it dries all the way I just kind of go around it and just clean up that um, epoxy that's dripping And whatever you can't clean up um, when it fully dries, you can sand it off. And hope I didn't miss a spot besides in the middle. Because I did take the tape out. So I'm going to just let it drip. Cause I'll clean it off later. I'll sand it off later. All right, and that's how I, I pretty much um, want it to look. And I'm trying to make sure there's nothing that I'm forgetting. So basically, when it's dry, hopefully it on my hands. When it's dry, I'm going to put this on top. Let me bring the camera to a different angle so you can see. All right, so this is what it looks like. Sorry that the light is glaring on the um, shine of the epoxy, but this is what it looks like. And when it's done, I'm going to add this on top. I know you can't hardly see it because my hand is in the way, but it's going to look more like that with the welcome at the bottom, like I showed earlier, and it'll be done. Oh, and also I have to put, um, I have to put the welcome on the bottom, not the welcome, the, uh, <laughs> the string to hold it on the door. So that I will apply with say maybe heat gun, um, you can use staples, you can use tape, whatever you want to um, put it on the back. Okay, so that is it. If you have any questions and if I have the answer, just um, I will answer it for you. So just leave it in the comments. Oh, I also forgot to mention that um, I did say that I cut this out with my laser cutter, which um, I designed myself. So that being said, I can cut it into a circle, um, I can cut like an initial or I can cut it. You can make small key, small key changers. So I can cut it out for you and you can do this at home. Cause as you can see, it was very, very easy to do with just paint and um, epoxy. You wanna do this in a well um, ventilated area because the epoxy smell can be a little heavy, a little strong. But um, yeah, if you want me to cut out um, a board for you, wood, for you in the shape, just reach out to me and we'll see what we can do. All right, and as I said before, every time you can use the same design, the same flip-flop, and it can come out differently every single time with the way you pour your paint on it. So, okay, that's it for real this time. All right, bye.